Hi guys. Okay, so right now I'm going to show you how you can save your work, your flats that you either traced or created from scratch in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to show you how to save your work and um, well, actually how to create a layout and then save your work. So let me get let me get started here. Okay, so what you see on my screen is two flats that I created from scratch. So you see uh, the uh, front of a t-shirt flat and you see the back of a t-shirt flat. You also see my little person, my flats person. You guys already have this, this document. So you're using that to help you trace or create your flats. With that being said, you can see all of my layers here in the layers panel. What I'm going to do is hit the toggle button to make the layer disappear so I can just stay focused on my flats. The next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to click the top left space of my workspace and select both views of my flats. So I've selected them. I'm going to go up to new. Well, actually, I'm sorry. I'm going to go up to edit, copy. I'm going to click on file and then open new. So when I click file, it's going to create an open new. It's going to create a new document where I can paste those flats. So I want to make sure that I hit print. Make sure that my horizontal orientation is selected. I change my points to, to inches just to keep it simple in this scenario. I'm going to hit create. So now I have a new workspace. I'll just move this over just a little bit so you can see the entire workspace. Then I'm going to go back to edit, paste. I just click this area and now you see both of my flats. So let's say I have more than one flat. You can, you can position these flats any way you like, but let's say you have more than um, one set of flats and you need to make room. What you can do is select one of your flats, click on the path, the area of the path of your flat and switch it over. So I clicked in this area. I'll show you again. I'm going to click here and select my flat. Click the path of the side seam and position the back of my flat here. So if I have more than one flat, I'll go back to my edit, paste it in. And while it's still highlighted, I'm just going to click on this path, shift it over just a little bit and bring it, bring it down. So you see how this flat is still hanging off the side of the workspace. I'll select only this flat, click my path and drag it up. Try to position it equally, evenly. And I'll do the same for the back of this flat. Click the path, drag it. Let's see if it's even. I think that'll work for now. So I've created my layout. Now it's time for me to save the layout. So I'll go up to File. Save as. Now it's always great to save an Adobe Illustrator format, an AI format. With that being said, you can use that AI format to go back and make changes. So it's always good to have that backup. But in, in this instance, if you have to share it or upload it, you guys have to upload it for your assignment. So what you're going to do, you're going to change it to a PDF. So I'm going to make sure I hit desktop you can save it wherever you like but for me desktop is quick to get to I can find it with no problem so I make sure that desktop is selected I'll go up and change the name so I'm going to save this as t-shirt flats layout then I'm going to change my format to an adobe pdf I click save I already saved it before so I'm going to hit replace I'm going to hit save PDF and now you're good to go. So it's saved on my desktop. If I need to upload it or send it somewhere, all I have to do is go to my desktop and 
unselected. If I want to change that PDF, what I can do is open it up in Photoshop, save it again, but when I save, when I save it, I would save it as a JPEG. So that's a way that you can transition it from a PDF to a JPEG. You can open it up in Adobe Photoshop. Once you open it, save, go to save, save as, save it as a JPEG, and you're good to go.